Follow me, Pepperoni Patrol. We shall lead the way and take over Pizza Hut's empire. <laughs> and hi, everyone. My name is Stormy the Fulf, and it's time for fan mail number 30. I'm using a new microphone for this fan mail video, so please let me know how things sound in the comments below. But yeah, without further spado, let's ado a fan mail. We got a How to Train Your Dragon thingy. We got a How to Train Your Dragon necklace thingy from Sparkle Dragon. The dragon has sent me a dragon object. Uh, I, I, I can't open it. Uh, all those hours of playing Ring Fit are finally paying off. Uh, we got Toothless and the one whose name I could never hecking remember because I still haven't seen that movie. I've been told I will cry a lot of tears once I watch that How to Train Your Dragon movie. I've seen the first one. I think I've seen the second one, but I know I have not seen the third. So no spoilers in the comments, but that's really, really sweet. Sparkle Dragon, thank you so hecking much for the sparkling dragons. Literally, they do sparkle. Let's see if I can put them on. Ugh, my head is always too big. But we'll take care of that in a moment because somebody sent me a shirt. Hi, Stormy. I am a blue-green male wolf husky. So I think I'm a wolf or a wusky. I live in Vienna, Austria, and I am a huge fan of you and your channel. So do y'all know that there's like a brand of sausages here called Vienna? Are they actually made in Vienna or is that just a weird coincidence? First of all, sorry for my English. I think I speak pretty well English, but I am not so good in writing. That's all good. I've been in the fandom since 2013, I think, but in the last two years, I learned so much of the furry world because of your great videos. I also get so much information about making a fursuit from your channel. I might talk about all the things that, uh, like how to get fursuit hair out of your mouth, apparently. <laughs> I might talk about the materials that you need to make a fursuit and how to get a fursuit and where to get a fursuit, but I myself actually don't know how to make them. I still have hair in my mouth. Mm, I need another haircut. Urgh. I am planning to make me a fursuit with a dear friend of mine. Ooh. And maybe I get some floppy ears too. Floppy ear gang, floppy ear gang, floppy ear gang. Yes, I, everyone should get floppy ears whenever they commission a suit. I will make this a law once I become the ruler of the universe. Last year it was pretty hard sometimes, but my little group of my dear friends and you helped me a lot to get back to the sunny side of my life. I don't know why that made me think of pancakes when that sunny side should really make me think of eggs. That was totally random. <laughs> you make me laugh so many times and give me so much happiness with your content. Oh, I'm glad my content's making someone happy out there. I always appreciate those thoughts. I don't appreciate hair being in my mouth. Go away, yeet. All of your videos and streams are so full of joy, love, and fun. And that's absolutely beautiful. I try my best whenever I'm making videos or I'm streaming, I try to like put myself in my persona shoes. Like this is who I wish I could be in real life. I mean, personality wise, especially, but even if I can't become an actual blue wolf, I'd like to just be happy and cheerful all the time. That's the kind of energy I wish I had out of suit. I don't know where it comes from. It just sort of happens as soon as I put my suit on. So eh. And we both have more than the love for the color blue, and we are both Sonic and Tails fans. Ah, we have a lot in common now, don't we? <laughs> so I thought I would make you a little surprised to thank you for being you. Stormy, thank you for being you and for your great work. You are a blue fluffy treasure, and you have a special place in my heart. Oh, Renee slash Slurpee. Yeah. So like, is this an official product or did you make this yourself? I mean, if you've made this, that is literally way past cool. Even if you didn't make it, this is still way past cool. So we've got the original trio right here, Team Sonic. I'm gonna put this on right now. <laughs> Ta-da! Slurpee, thank you so heckin' much for the Sonic shirt! This next letter is from JD Brown. I'm so surprised that you put my channel link in the description in fan mail 29. It totally made my day. Eh, no problem. I've also watched a lot of battle bots where seeing bots get destroyed or permanently disabled is something I always laugh at. Even when I'm not watching your content, I have no idea where that voice came from. <laughs> But Battle Bots, I didn't know those were still a thing. Like, is that like the show they used to have on tech TV a long time ago? And I think it was like filmed in the UK or something. If you had to choose a favorite Battle Bot, what bot is your favorite? I don't remember that show that well, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you so much for the letter, JD. And this next letter is from... Oh. Ah! 
non-negotiable. That means they have to take this and get in a lot of trouble. Don't actually do that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Dear Stormy, it's been a while since I wrote and the Royal Mail has been delayed for obvious reasons. I know I've talked about it before, but I will always find it amusing how, at least in the UK, how everything has Royal in it. It's like, hmm, yes. Us in the UK have our own mail system and it's Royal, unlike American mail. We have the finest quality of envelopes and stamps. You can only get these from the UK. I sounded Irish there for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I am Irish. Mm. To begin with, I wouldn't say I'm happy or healthy, but I'm alive. Yeah. That's about how I feel, <laughs> but that's good enough for me. At the moment, I have an uncertain future. Same, I have to move at some point and I don't know where to go. <laughs> I'm making plans for myself when stability and normality is restored. I'm saving up to fly back to the US and maybe go to a convention. So your videos on furry convention tips and hotel tips have been helping me out. I'd like to redo some of those in the future because there, there are a few places where I messed up, but I tried my absolute best to stay factual and accurate, so eh. So thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'm glad my videos are helping people out there for real. Like, cause I know there's still a lot of people really confused about the inner workings of the furry fandom, how to go to conventions and whatnot. Yeah. During the last six months, I have made a cool furry friend online from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and hopefully travel there to shake his paw. I may come down south to a convention to give you hugs too. Oh, <laughs> FWA is the one convention I go to every year because it's in the South. I always make it a goal to go to that one. So if you're ever down South and you go to FWA, chances are I'll be there too. Thank you, Stormy, and all the best from Zill Jane Zone. I do hope to see you someday at a con for real, so e Also, thank you so much for the million dollars and the interesting card art. <laughs> Greetings, Stormy. I hope you are well during these crazy times. I hope you are as well, a uh, mystery person. Within this envelope from a little tiger chipmunk, you are hereby tagged. Keep being the chill folk that you are. From Tavi Monk. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, it's so adorable! Oh my god, my heart! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, this is one of the cutest badges I've ever gotten! <laughs> Holy heck! Did you do some of the uh, web art for Method Fur Meat by any chance? Is that. That looks really familiar. I mean, I could be wrong. That's just a really wild guess. Tavi Chipmunk, thank you so heck much for the adorable art. Note to self, Stormy, get haircut. Get like an undercut or something. Anything's better than this shaggy mess you have right now. I'm gonna scream. It keeps getting in my eyes. Uh. Hi, Stormy. Ramsey here. I want to write to ask you if I can have your autograph. I'm collecting autographs from mascot slash characters. I'm a mascot. I, I, I guess I could be a potato mascot. I'd be okay with that one. <laughs> and uh, Stormy is technically a character because he's my persona. So, okay, I'm okay with that one. <laughs> From all over the world. And I would love to add yours to my collection. You don't have to if you don't want to, but in case you do, I've included a blank piece of paper and a self-addressed stamped envelope. Well, I, now I have to do it because you, you did all the hard work for me. But yeah, I, I'll do that for you. Why not? Eh. This would be one of those rare moments where I actually do something like this. Anyway, I hope you're doing well and keep up the great work. Sincerely, Ramsey. Hey, Ramsey, I hope you're doing well as well. Your life is pretty messed up for everyone, but it is getting better, at least for us in the US anyway. It looks like things are slowly returning to some sense of normalcy, but yeah. Thank you so much for the letter, and I will take care of that autograph as soon as possible. Hi, Stormy. Monsoon here. Hi, Monsoon. I finally got a laminator for badge making. I drew this about half a year or so ago, and I love drawing Stormy. Oh, I hope this finds you well, and I hope the new year brings you plentiful love and happiness. I hope it does too. Uh, March is over, and March is like my least favorite month of the year because tax season, but it will probably be April by the time this video gets posted and I already feel a lot better, so eh. I am very grateful that I found your channel. You really helped me become part 
of this possum community and even helped me in my own art style. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? I, I, don't, I think I only did like one video on a heart and I'm not a great artist. Um, someday I'd like to do like art tutorials like what Zillion does, but I'm nowhere near his level. <laughs> but maybe someday I could do like really basic art tutorials to help people out. Um, somehow I helped you develop your own art style and that is really, really hacking sweet and precious and wholesome. This is the first and only traditional badge. I did it in my own style. Oh my god, you look so cute! <laughs> look at it, look at it! This is the one and only traditional badge you've drawn. It's the only one you ever will draw. I, I, I will put this in a glass case that's armed by several guards and minions, <laughs> and I will put a blessing on it <laughs> to make sure nothing ever happens to it. I mainly stick to digital now. I hope you enjoy, and may your world be filled with potatoes and golden rings. Is that a reference to Sonic there? <laughs> From Monsoon the Pupsum. I don't know if it'll last long, but this ink is blue rass scented. Oh, I still smell it. Yeah, I can still smell the blue raspberry. It's it's very faint, but it is still there. We got some stormy stickers and a strawby sticker. And if you'd like to commission Monsoon, AKA Strawby Studios, here's their business card. But Monsoon, AKA Strawby Studios, thank you so heckin' much for the sweet badge. This is David and I am 52 years old, Ray Muzzle. I am still learning about furries. In 2018, I became Dumont the Wolf. It is a skill scary looking wolf. I am a kind wolf though. If you look up Delaware Fur Bowl 70 on YouTube, you will see a wolf wearing a black and red cloak. I saw your videos and love your shows. Keep up the great job and don't let anyone put you down. I, I, I've gotten so used to troll comments, hate comments and whatnot. It's just, it's like white noise at this point. I don't even notice it half the time. Think about the people that care about you and you are very talented. Remember that. Here is a $20 money order. Ooh, I've never cashed a money order. Are those like checks? I mean, it's it's marked to the post office, so I guess I'll ask them how to cash it. <laughs> Ooh, got some pictures. It is definitely a red and black cloak. And it's definitely a spoopy wolf for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hat makes me think you're kind of more of like a jester wolf, but because of the uh, red and black that you got going on. Dumont the wolf, thank you so heckin' much for the pictures and the $20 money order. Hello, Stormy. I love your videos. My name is Charlie, and I am that furry with 500 million personas. Your videos have taught me things about the fandom that I did not know about. Are you going to BLFC 2021? Ah, uh, probably not this year. <laughs> I'm still really scared of flying and BLFC is like a long ways away from me. I am, and maybe I'll see you there. I, I wish. If I weren't so scared of planes, I might be able to actually do it. <laughs> but I am terrified of flying. I'm sorry. Maybe someday. Mm. No, that's cute. Charlie, thank you so much for the letter. Unfortunately, I probably won't be at BLFC, but I would love to go to that con someday, especially when I'm not so scared of flying on planes anymore. <laughs> Hiya, Stormy. I've been a fan of yours for a bit now, and I thought, why not send some fan mail? I also sent a photocopy of a drawing I did, hoping you could sign it and send it back to me. This drawing took me a while, so I hope you take good care of it. Sincerely, Aster the Saber Wolf. Oh my hecking sweet Jesus Christ. How do you shade like that? Oh my God. I, I wish I could be as good as you. Oh my God. Your art skills are hacking on point. This is one of the coolest things anyone has ever sent to me. 10 out of 10 with commission. <laughs> Aster the Saber Wolf, I will see what I can do about autographing that picture and sending it back to you. Thank you so hecking much for that picture. That is so hecking rad. Think I'm gonna put it on this wall somewhere. I need to find room first. <laughs> but seriously, thank you so heckin' much. And next we got a package from Maple Land, AKA Canada. Oh, Canada. I don't know how your anthem goes. We got a package from Rolfus Coyote. I think I'm committing a sin right now holding these. We got some ketchup potato chips. Got some ruffles all dressed up. There are no dresses on these chips, Rolfus. They, they just look like regular potato chips. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my God. I love these things so much. I think I'm gonna eat them right now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Got a wonder bar. Never had a wonder bar. I wonder what they're all about. Macintosh, not a Macintosh. It's a 
Some kind of creamy chocolate bar thingy. If it was a Macintosh, it'd have an apple on it. Ooh, these are really, really, really good. We got a coffee crisp bar. They have caffeine in them because uh, coffee, where caffeine comes from. Caffeine doesn't come from anywhere else but coffee. Pretty sure that's scientific fact. Hawkins. Cheesies? Are these like Canadian Cheetos? A, a lot of these look really familiar like you sent them to me before and I never got to eating them because I had no teeth that I could chew on them with. <laughs> That's really embarrassing to say, but like I had no teeth for a while and now I have teeth again, so I have no excuse when it comes to not eating this stuff. Crispy crunch. It's crispy and it's crunchy. Hera milk bar. What if it has milk in it? Alternate universe Smarties. These are chocolate Smarties, while our Smarties in the US are a totally different thing. Chocolate bar with a name that says they're in denial because it's called Mr. Big. You ain't that big, sir. Maybe this chocolate bar just wishes it could be big like the rest. So its coping mechanism is to say that it's big, even though it's not really big, relatively speaking. Never heard of a chocolate bar that had an inferiority complex, but this one does. Maybe big things come in small packages. And when we open this, the chocolate bar is actually a lot bigger. Stormy, shut up and get on with the video. Hot rods? What are hot rods? Sausage snacks? Is it like beef jerky or something? I have no idea what this is about. I'll find out though. <laughs> ah, Rolfus, thank you so much for all the Canadian snacks and goodies. I will eat every single one of them. Might do it for a special video in the future, but I will have to eat all of this before it does expire, so... It's amazing how much better I feel after having that Maynard's candy. Apparently, I just needed to feed the receptors in my brain with some dopamine, AKA sugar. And we are on to our very last packages, all from the same person. So I have no idea what order to open these in. So <laughs> just gonna hope for the best. Y'all package this really well, just saying. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You ever just burp in suit and it just smells so bad that the smell lingers? <laughs> <laughs> Take it cheesy, Stormy. Dear Stormy, roses are red, pizza is yummy. Enjoy this gift from a fox in his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing for like dad jokes and puns and stuff like this. This stuff is the key to my heart. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh yeah, my birthday was in January 24th. That should tell you how long it's been since I've had this mail. It's some kind of, some kind of pizza monster thing. <laughs> what? A little pizza friendo for the pizza night. Where does this go? Does it go on its head? Follow me, pepperoni patrol. We shall lead the way and take over Pizza Hut's empire. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for this. And now we're gonna open up the next one. Uh. Hey Stormy, please enjoy this bonus birthday gift from us, from Kiddo Dragon Fox and Kiddo's wife. Oh, oh, that's actually really neat. Um, is this for, is this like a McDonald's Happy Meal thing? Copyright 1984. Wait a second, it's from that cartoon y'all were talking about. I don't remember the name, but I'll put it right here. <laughs> and this character is holding a pizza. <laughs> That's really neat though. I like weird stuff like this. Maybe I'll become Chadtronic before I know it. Howdy, Stormy. Roses are red, your fluff is blue. Who is this gift for? It's for you. <laughs> uh, uh, I started talking Southern because howdy. <laughs> Peace and kindness from Kiddo Dragon Fox and Kiddo's wife. A lot of bubble wrap in this. What the heck is this? It's a Sonic Mania water bottle. Yay! <laughs> is there any Sonic in here? Nope. No, it just smells like nothingness. No Sonic. No Sonic to be found. Four for Sonic not found. <laughs> this is so cool though. Oh my God, I've never gotten anything like this. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually do have a water bottle, but now I have two. I think this is a water bottle. Do not microwave cold liquids only. Yep, that's definitely a water bottle. It's not just any water bottle. The Sonic Mania water bottle. And it's shiny too. Also made out of glass. So gotta be careful with it. This is so sweet. Oh my God. A kiddo dragon fox and kiddo's wife. Thank you so heckin' much for the water bottle, the pizza monster, and the uh, cartoon character with the pizza that I conveniently can't remember because I'm a dingus. Seriously, thank you all so much for the heckin' awesome birthday presents. Y'all are so heckin' wholesome and sweet. Well, that about wraps up fan mail number 30. If y'all wanna send me anything to open up and read or review, preferably nothing that will bite, hurt, or attack me, you can send it to this P.O. Box address listed 
on your screen. Anyways, it's really hot because I live in the south where it's always hot. The AC is blasting and I'm still melting. So I'm gonna go take a shower, but I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.